What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself this Saber Red Pepper Spray. You've seen these things. Uh, pepper Spray goes on your keychain. A lot of you may like these kind of non-lethal um, irritants. It's not mace. Um, pepper Spray with UV marking dye, which is interesting. Um, spray it in your attacker's eyes. Um, I don't really have any plans to carry this around, but I did have, I did wonder how well this works in cold weather. I don't really know if it's a powder or liquid or whatnot, but I thought we'll go ahead and give it a little bit of a squirt here on a nice uh, autumn day. It's about 70 degrees outside, so pretty typical room temperature. And then I'm gonna throw it in the freezer for a couple hours, get it uh, cold, but not necessarily wickedly cold, and just see, because I was curious, if you're a person that's carrying one of these around and you get attacked in the winter, does the thing work? Let's find out. All right, kids, so outside here, I have uh, my pepper spray canister. Um, it's, you know, palm-sized. It's actually <laughs> has finger grooves here, which is kind of nice because I guess if you're trying to aim it, you know that the finger grooves are going to be forward. Um, it has a it has a little lever here. You slide it to the kind of the armed position, and then it says press. So pretty, uh, pretty easy to actuate. You just flip this over and then press down. Um, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a squirt. Oh, it does shoot pretty far. Um, it doesn't stay together real well. It actually comes out a little orange and looks like, you know, you have to be pretty much up close and personal with someone. Uh, you get them right in the, the face, but um, shoots out like kind of 10 feet but it really, especially with a little bit of a wind here, it drifts pretty good in the wind. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the sucker in the um, the freezer and let's see how it does. I just shot it there, I don't know how many times. Um, I don't wanna wear the thing out yet, uh, but it seems like you can actually get quite a bit of spray out of these suckers. So let's, let's cool it off and see how it works. All right, kids, this will be pretty extreme. This is 26 hours in sub-freezing temperatures. You can see that uh, it's frosting up a little bit on the outside. Let's see if this thing works. I'm actually kind of curious and I kind of don't think it will. Arming it and... Nada! Kind of just oozes out there. So, not that it's a really um, practical test. You're probably going to uh never be in a situation where you're going to be exposed to sub 32 degrees fahrenheit for extended uh lengths of time but just in case uh you're wondering if the sucker will work after it's been frozen it won't peter my out my finger's starting to burn